This movie was so hilarious from beginning to end. How did you come up with the idea to base uh, a comedy on this TV series? Well, um, I'm a huge motorsports enthusiast, so I'm always looking for anything that already has built into it, either cars or motorcycles as stars. And so this was kind of a no-brainer. It was, um, I, I had Googled Poncharella to see how to spell it because I was writing another script and this photo popped up of John and Ponch and they, they were looking kind of tough in the photo. And I thought, wow, this, this could hold like a bad boys version or a, a, you know, a lethal weapon version of this. And that's basically what I pitched the studio and they, they went for it, shockingly. I've heard that your brother is a cop. Did he give you any tips? My brother used to work at UPS, and he is a cop, so like we look like UPS drivers, and he's a police officer. He's a real deal. Uh, he gave me no, like nothing. I actually thought that it was better to do no, absolutely no research whatsoever for this part, because it's it literally is it's just that much more different than chips. It's like chips on steroids, where you really just want to read the script and just look at the script and just create your own punch. And that's what I try to do. Also, you're playing an FBI agent undercover, so it almost makes sense that you weren't getting the cop thing perfect, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to now... I, I mean, that, that seems like a justification. Yeah, more yeah. Than, more I just than, did it. Yeah, but yeah. thanks, But man, you I didn't say it. I said it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was kind of terrible coming out of your Yeah, mind. exactly. <laughs> I actually planned that, yeah. So what I did, if you think about it... Yeah. How long had each of you been riding motorcycles before you started filming? For me, it was four weeks. Okay. And then I did um, I did the very safe shots. I did ride around a lot, um, and then a couple times I was pulled by the trailer, which is always really fun. It, it was actually a lot of fun to, to do that. Yeah. Um, but I but I rode around. The trailer was actually scarier than riding. I, I don't wheel think was, so. Well, the wheel was falling off at one yeah. point. That was hair raising. He saved my life. Yeah. <laughs> so I saved his life because I noticed the wheel was getting was coming off the trailer. And then I was bragging about saving his life, and then I remembered that I had also put him in that situation. So it was it's kind a of push. A, it was a, net, a net zero. Whatever. Really. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are both so funny. Was there ever like was it hard to keep from cracking up while you were filming this movie? Um, you know what was it, we rehearsed these scenes so many times that I think I, I think we knew what was coming. Uh, when it's really fresh and when it's new and it's the first time and you don't know what you know how the other person's going to do it, it's really really funny. But there was a couple of times that I was laughing, but I don't think, um, I don't think we we went like we did like a well a our approach, fest. which we agreed on, which luckily we have a similar tone, is that um, we thought the more sincere it was, the funnier it was going to be. So the more we believed what we were saying, the funnier it was going to be. Um, so weirdly, at the end of those scenes, I would I was more evaluating like did I convince him of what I was saying like I wasn't it was weird I, I tricked myself into you know yeah. thinking it was I was really trying to explain to him why it's homophobic to not hug a guy in his underwear you know and but, I was like I, I was like well I don't think I don't think you're using that word homophobic right like just because I'm not comfortable or want to touch my penis with another man's penis when I'm <laughs> hugging I'm like, I don't think that's super comfortable right and, and uh, there's a valid and I would be <laughs> agitated at the end of them, as would you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I guess that we both make valid points. Yeah. I heard earlier that there was going to be a crossover with 21 Jump Street and another movie franchise, but Whoa. I think that... I heard the different studios. Took, oh, I heard it took, took, um, Men in Black. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that if you took Chips and 21 Jump Street <coughs> and put them together, that mm -hmm. would make for an amazing crossover movie. What do you think? I'll do it. 21 Chip Street? <laughs> I like chips. it. Chip Street? Wow, that'd be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'd be in a lot less of the film if we partnered yeah, exactly. up with Channing Tatum and, <laughs> oh, yeah. and Jonah. Channing Tatum is, is better looking than both of us put together. Put together, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a bummer, too. Yeah. yeah. But we got our own movie this time. Yeah, hey, here we go. Oh, here we go. We're back. Okay. Yes. March 24th. And, 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 yeah. and Thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> Other than that, I'm uh, hoping to see a Chips 2. Thank yeah, you. We would right love this Perfect. was a lot of fun. Yeah. We'd love to see another one. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much for talking to me today. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah.